This video is brought to you by Coolstream, Bluetooth products bringing wireless music cool and easy. Hey guys, Joshua Bainsek, and I want to show you a video about Zuperware Circleware. This is for smartwatches with the circle face. There are some square ones available as well. I have a link for both in the description, so definitely check it out. I'm going to walk you through how to get this set up and the different functions, the different looks that you can get with Zuperware itself. First of all, click on the link down below and it's going to lead you to this app right here. Within the app, there's a bunch of instructions that you're going to have to go by. You're going to want to find this requirement section here and just go down the list, download or install apps that are required. So the first one we're going to click is the Android Wear device and companion app. Just hit play store. I've already downloaded all these, but this is where you would get it. You can hit open if you'd like. And that is basically the steps you're going to take from this point on as you work your way down a list. So next, just go to the Zuper Widget Pro. And you can hit it open, you got Zuper Widget Pro. Just hit back until you get back to the original app. Then you get wearable widgets, click on that link. And again. You can hit open if you'd like. All right, so once you got all three of those apps downloaded, go ahead and reboot your phone. And once you got rebooted, you're gonna to proceed to steps number four through eight, which would be all through wearable widgets. So number four, you're gonna to go to wearable widgets and open the tab that has Android Wear and create a two by two Zuper Widget Pro. One little trick that you can use to bounce between screens is to use your recent apps. And that's just gonna help you get through the process or have another device open like a computer or tablet to get through this stuff. Go ahead and open up wearable widgets and this is the tab. Hit Android Wear. Hit your settings menu over here. Then you're going to go to settings and you're going to want to make sure that crop widgets and visible updates and always keep widgets running is checked. So that was number four and five together. So we'll go on down to number six. Still within the settings, you're gonna to go to wear watch face settings and remove the check mark from show notification underlay. Use your watch face settings here and make sure that this part here is not checked. Moving on to number seven, you got return to settings and then you're gonna tap the round screen sizing, sizing type and enable fit widget to outside of the screen and tap okay. Also make sure that ignore screen cutout is enabled. Here we go, hit back, round size sizing, sizing type, and here you go. Select that, hit OK. And this is the part that you wanted to make sure that it's checked. Ignore screen cutouts and make sure that's checked on. Number eight, we're going to tap back twice and you're going to see tap to create. So you're going to tap it and then you're going to hit super wear templates, get SD and HD. And this is going to be depending on your phone's display. So we're going to hit back twice. This is your main screen. Hit the plus sign. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And your super should be at the bottom somewhere. Hit your two by two. And at this point, you're gonna select this to start. Then you're gonna have your different templates to choose from. You're gonna to wanna to choose the Zuper Wear. This is where you choose your template of choice, many different styles to choose from. I'm gonna go with this one here because I like it for outdoors use. White faces definitely are easier to read outside. You're gonna to wanna to actually launch Zuper Widget Pro and then enable Standby updates and alternative geocoder. Open up your app drawer, go on down to Zuper Widget Pro. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down and you got alternative geocoder, make sure that's checked on and also standby updates. And once you got that set, you're pretty much all set to go. Let's go back to our app and make sure. Yep, the last step is to actually go to the watch and select it from there. All right, so from here, you're gonna swipe away a notification if you have it, long press your screen. And this is gonna be where you're gonna choose the watch face. Just keep on scrolling until you see the Zuper Wear, the Wearable Widgets app here. Once you got that selected, you know, sometimes it'll come up automatically. Other times you'll have to resync it with your device. So you can do one of two things. You can reboot both devices or you can go to the Android Wear app. Once you get the Android Wear selected, just go over here to the setting icon here. And at the very bottom, you got resync apps. You just select that and it should pop up over here on your device once it's resunk. So this has been how to set up Zuper where the circle faces specifically, there are square ones available. John the developer, he has a lot of different smartwatches supported, so you're gonna to wanna to follow his stuff. 
He's got a Google Plus community to join, so definitely join that. I'll leave a link in the description. This has been how to set up Zuberware on your Moto 360 or any round face smartwatch that you can get a hold of right now. If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.